Hi, I'm Joseph Watson, one of the Chosen Zap artists. I'm here in West Las Vegas on Martin Luther King and Lake Mead. I'm James Huff. I'm an artist working in Las Vegas. Right now I'm in the historic West Las Vegas neighborhood. My name is Katie Matheson, and uh, the pieces that I'll be working on on my boxes are the theme of the sun and the moon. I think it's important because, especially for this city, because I I've traveled to other large cities and I really like that there is a lot more public art and I think it's really needed here and I think that it's really a positive thing when it is out where people can have, you know, more chances to see it. This is my piece for this utility box. I title it Grow Beyond and the idea behind this piece is that I want to show that beauty can sprout from anywhere. No matter how grim and, you know, worn down the environment, uh, beauty can sprout from it and that's what this piece illustrates. In the studio, I can, I'll usually listen to music and things, so I'll kind of, you know, go, go off in my own world um, listening to the music and I can trust that I'm not disturbed. And I'm usually playing it that way because you don't like to be disturbed when you're working. But uh, when you're in the public, like this, I'm not listening to music, obviously. Um, because so many people like to stop and ask me what I'm doing and, and make comments about it. So I, I enjoy that. So I find that I have long stretches of, of being completely alone and isolated without any kind of distraction like music, left to my own thoughts. I chose to do the theme of the sun and the moon just because I like the idea that it's just a real universal symbol, you know, relates to everybody all over the world, you know, no matter what culture you're in. And I think it's something that's really um, identifiable. The other piece is titled Success Stories. And the cool thing about that piece is that I'm showing the same girl uh, going around the box, around the box like a circle. And the cool thing about it is that she's all different occupations. She became a doctor, uh, firefighter, artist, tennis player. She became anything she want, wanted to be. And all of her friends are walking in the opposite direction. So they're actually kind of going backwards in life. So she's doing the right thing and they're doing kind of, I don't know, the other thing I guess you can say. And if you look closely, you'll see a book in the girl's hand and that book says success stories. We're all painters who are part of the project, but we're all working in the round because, because we're not doing traditional murals, we're doing these kind of three-dimensional box murals, which, which is something I've been interested in in my own artwork. So. Um, I'm kind of used to it. For myself, I think the, the art viewing public and just the general public who's going to come across this stuff isn't used to seeing this kind of art or this kind of decoration. I think definitely from the comments I've gotten, um, mo mo almost everyone is supportive of the work and a lot of people have questions as to what exactly it is. You know, people want to know if I'm a vandal, um, if, I'm, if I'm a volunteer, or who, who's put me up to this, why I'm doing it. My default um, is just to say I'm trying to make something nice to look at. All comments, whether positive or negative, are greatly appreciated because the art is for the community. And uh, yeah, it's the world's art. It's not mine. I mean, my name, you know, of course, will be on it, my signature. But uh, I'm doing this for the community. And it's very cool to just hear like the comments and stuff. That's the way of the community um, giving back, and uh, it's really appreciated. You're out in the open when you're you get more exposure to the public and the people. You get their comments and their feedback. It, um, it's it's inspiring to see you know how people react. Everybody's been really positive, so it's it's great to you know to get feedback from people on the street and see you know that they're excited that they're doing public art and, you know, it's somewhere where everybody has access to it as opposed to just going to a gallery or, uh, you know, an art show venue. Uh, make sure to stop by and check out my Zap Box as well as all the other wonderful Zap Boxes in the community.